focus of our research project is to develop a gliding robot that uses limbed actuation to achieve a controlled descent. The inspiration for this project is one of six known mammals in the world that can fly, the flying squirrel. Flying squirrels use their limbs and tail to control flight. Their limbs are used to stretch out a flexible membrane known as their patagium, and their tails are used to control their angle of attack mid-flight. We wanted to replicate these behaviors in our robot and answer the following research question. How can the limbs and tail of a gliding robot be used to effectively control flight and safely land? For the design of our robot, we focused on minimizing mass. Three servos control the actuation of our robot, two for legged actuation of the patagium, and one for actuation of the tail. The body and frame of our robot is made from 3D printed ABS plastic, and the patagium is made of a ripstop nylon. The geometric shape of our robot comes from analysis of wing loading and aspect ratio values of actual flying squirrels. For our electronics, our main controller board reads values from our IMU, determining position of the robot, and tells the servos, based on our control scheme, how to orient themselves. We implemented a PID control loop that takes in data from an IMU sensor and calculates how the tail of the robot should adjust. Right after takeoff, flying squirrels flutter their limbs to help with stabilization. We implemented this behavior into our robot to help keep the roll orientation constant. We built an experimental launch setup to control the initial launch conditions when testing our robot. The setup allows us to control initial launch angle and velocity. While our robot was unable to achieve fully autonomous flight, it serves as a good test bed for research on limbed flight control. Thank you.